What's up everybody and welcome back to Last Turn of Survival. I think my audio is being recorded. If it's not, I'll be a bit sad. So update 1.9.1 has just come out. I think that might supposed to be 1.9.2. I'm not sure. So it is added in the radio tower. So let's just have a quick read of this. In spite of civilization collapse and the total devastation in our post-apocalyptic world, brave survivors keep on equipping their own bases, learn lost technologies and build a new world. A group of scientists from Sector 7 managed to get back the connection between radio towers. Now you can add your allies to friends and communicate them via an in-game chat from anywhere. You still need level 28 to build a radio tower, however the recipe got changed so it no longer requires titanium. Nickname. Now it's unique and consists of two parts. The first one is the name chosen by you, while the second one is a four digit tag that will be given to you by the game. Your friend and you will be able to choose one and the same choose one and the same name, but your tags will differ. The number is the limit is twelve characters, and you'll be able to change the nickname once in thirty days. Don't be naughty, we'll punish for dirty things. That's good. The interface. The new functionality came with new tabs and icons. Everything is pretty simple and convenient. We don't doubt that you'll figure everything out. Let's take a look then. Now I believe I should be getting a custom tag for my name, however I'm not sure if I've sent my user ID to the correct dev or not. So we'll take a look. If I can get in. Here we are. And let's turn the sound on. There we go. Here we go. No signal. Radio tower level 1 required. Radio tower level 2 required. And radio tower level 3 required. So, ah, so it looks like maybe the design for the radio tower might change as well. This could be interesting, but I think we should just go and build our radio tower first. Not going to be much use trying to check out this new update if I haven't got that. Right then, where are we looking? Radio tower. Ah, oh, it's a shame they changed the model. I liked how it looked before. Okay, so we should have everything we need for this. Bolts, wires, transistors... Uh, let's take them. Is there anything else from here? Wires. Oh yeah, of course. And then it's iron plates as well as pine planks. And there we have it. Let's build ourselves this. Place on the ground. Excellent. Right. Um, Where do we want it? You know what, I kind of do want it out here. Let's have it down in this bottom corner. Perfect. Now let's go and work out what we need to finish it. It'd be annoying if it takes steel bars because I've only got steel plates. Although actually it won't take steel bars because you unlock it before the thing. Oh, oh this isn't too bad. I've got absolutely ever Ooh, I might not have 15 batteries. Ooh, this might be annoying. So, amplifiers, high-tech components, wrenches, batteries. Let's take a look. 12 batteries. <laughs> oh dear. One signal amplifier. Uh, oh, yeah, my signal amplifier should be up here. Two, three signal ampl amplifiers. And I've got a load more in there. Uh, wrenches. Let's grab a stack of 20. And grab some water quickly because I am... Dying of thirst. There we go. Oh, what was that? Ah, oh, cool. This is new. They've had an open recipes button. Yay, hidden change of the update for anyone that likes making hidden change videos. Woo. Right, so what was the other thing? High tech components. I think they are up here. Yes. Right, so I am going to have to root through my base to try and find some more batteries. That's going to make it a little bit difficult. Oh, I need one more high-tech component as well. So, one high-tech component, three batteries. Let's see if I've got the batteries around. I'm a little bit disappointed that it doesn't require any of the dish antenna. Because, used for mounting on radio tower. And, we, well, it just isn't anymore. Ooh, and uh, two minutes and a half left on that. I am working towards building some gun mods. For my saw blade mace, I completed the Diablo blade. And I'm working on the ergonomic handle, but it takes so much glue. And then for this, I'm working on completing the big hammer. Which is what it stands for. But still needs so much stuff for it. 
so it's gonna be a while unfortunately and I'm not gonna buy packs to get pieces because the packs are incredibly expensive and I'm poor right just need I uh, need one more of these let's put all of them away let's organize that throw them in bolts and bearings go in here and these all go in here perfect all right so I still need just a couple of batteries I, uh, this is going to be annoying. I might have to go over to the bunker, maybe, and see if I've got any there. Well, there aren't going to be any in this section, I know that. Hmm. If there's going to be any, it'll be in this random box. Nope. I think I actually organised all of my batteries the other day. Oh, this is annoying. No batteries here. Uh, let's take. They've changed the model for the saw blade. It's got a blue handle now. Hey, another hidden change. Yeah. What about the. No, everything else looks the same. Alright, uh, so I think I'm gonna grab up a couple of melee weapons and head over to the bunker. Probably go onto the third floor, see if I can find some. Some, 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 some. What am I looking for? My brain has gone completely dead. I do not know what I'm after. Batteries! That was it. Batteries, batteries. Right. Yeah, I should be good with everything I've got. And look at this. I'm up to 36 electronic circuits. That's ridiculous. And I've got 46 lenses from just going on raids. And let's drop them off in there. Oh, wait. I think I needed that one, didn't I? Oh, well. Right. Can I mod any of these? Okay, let's put the Diablo blade on there and decreases the speed increases durability I'm gonna leave it for now and can I mod this anymore so that I've almost unlocked all the ah cool shows you the blue it shows you what it will look like that's awesome so could I see what all of them will look like I can oh that's cool so I'm currently working on making the BFH and it's going to have this handle, so that is going to look awesome. Right, let's see what else we can take a look at. Let's see how this is going to look. So I believe this is the best blade. Yeah. And this is the handle I'm working on. So it'll look like that. What other blades have we got? See now, I think that the best blade for this should be the cookery, which is this one. Nice bendy bladed weapon. And let's take a look at what this would look like fully modded. Uh, let's put a massive scope on it. Let's give it that. Mm. I don't like the tape. Let's make it look like that. Uh, let's put that's the stock I'm currently working on. Oh, we could give it a knife or a grenade launcher. That will be so cool when it's added. Hmm. Is there anything else? Let's take a look at what the shotgun looks like. Sorry, I know I'm getting distracted, but I just want to take a look at this. Oh yeah, I should probably actually mod it. Right, so... Okay. Right, that's how it works. Okay, good, that's not a silencer. And then we've got full grip and a few different little sights. So this here is your fully modded shotgun. I kind of prefer that handle, but that one matches the colour scheme. Oh, and I'm going to be able to add in that as well. Right, let's head on over to the bunker. I'm going to try and grab up a few batteries, and I'll meet you back here in a second. Actually, you know what? I might as well keep my trip to the bunker included. Right, so, bunker... I've really earned barely any bunker skills. Three, six, nine, ten. I've got ten bunker skills. Right, let's tab over quickly to see if I can get the bunker code, which is 70466. Perfect. Okay, I thought I'd be there by now. Have I got any batteries in my inbox? No. No, I do not. That's unfortunate. Ooh, but I might have some in the lockers over here. Now, I believe it's three batteries that I need. In which case, might have them already if I'm lucky, but I 
think when I was going through and organising, I took them from here as well. I have to check. No batteries. No batteries. No batteries. No batteries. Getting a theme here. No batteries. And no batteries. Okay then. Hmm. Can you get them in the ticket crate? Ticket crates, and do I have the tickets with me? There we go. Right, I think it was seven zero four six six. Did I say that? Nope, I did not say that. Wait. Yeah, seven zero four six six. What did I enter the first time? Must have done something wrong. Right then. Um, oh, I should probably equip something. You're, let's try out our Diablo blade. And let's get our basic unmodded machete equipped. So now this is going to be my first time using the Diablo blade. I'm curious about how much damage it's going to do. Damn! 181. That is pretty brutal. I just can't wait to get the better handle for this. Oh, I should have bought my spare blueprints with me. I could have traded them in with the specialist. Right. Let's see if I get any batteries in these. Uh, none in there. And also none in there. But blueprint from mechanical site. I think I've already got that blueprint. So I might scrap it. And I'm going to check in that one to see if there's any batteries. Right, I believe third floor is going to be the best place to go to find them. Most likely. Uh, I've got a wrench. So straight up to the third floor. <sighs> it's really hot today. Uh, what's the time? It's currently 3 o'clock, so I am actually heading out in about an hour to go and look at some different flats because we're going to be moving house. My girlfriend and I, that is. Oh, girlfriend and me. Uh, okay, so the handle, the stock modification I've got in the middle does decrease the speed way too much, which is unfortunate. So I am going to probably scrap that middle bit. And I think it might... I think it increases durability by two, but decreases the speed. Right, so we take out this one. And we sneak up on this guy here, and almost take him out. Oh no, 181, not 281. 281 would be a bit excessive, I think. Holy crap, I've never managed to do that before. But I don't think I can actually... No, I can't sneak in anyway. Right, I'm going to switch over to Machete. Uh, modded Machete is going to be so nice. I do love the Machete. Right, I'm not sure if the game sound is too loud or that you can actually not hear me at all at the moment, so I'm going to need to check that. But let's also get this ready. Taking on that Frenzy Giant in there. No battery... Come on, game. It's just three that I need. There might be some in the AI bases, but I'm pretty sure I've looted them completely already. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. So you can only shoot in little bursts now. Off, and you need to leave a break of about two seconds before it starts missing. I like got two to three seconds. Right, I don't think there's going to be batteries in the bathroom, but weirder things have happened. Nope. Load of mechanical stuff, but not a battery. I am going to break this turret here. Just because quite a good chance that that little box there will happen. So I missed quite a lot of shots there. And there. There we go. Now, come on. Give me some batteries. Really need some here. One battery down, two to go. Perfect. And a couple of turret parts, nice. Switch back to this, crouch down. One tap you. Nope. <laughs> uh, there we go, anyway. Hello. See, I thought it would do, it would still one tap. So can you still get critical 
hits just normally with these, because I swear I got an 80 a second ago. But I'm probably completely wrong. Ouch. Alright, so I think it's that room there that's got the Frenzy Giants that has a good chance of getting us some batteries. Ah, uh, damn it. Uh, that sneak attack, or lack thereof, is going to cost us quite a bit of durability. Did not mean to do that. Let's switch them out. Heal up quickly. Alright, let's go for this sneak here. Make sure not to miss it. So there we go. That saves us three hits. And no, I'm not going to wall trick. I don't approve of it. And yes, I know people always have a go at me for not using it. I just don't like to use glitches. Glitches that give an unfair advantage over other people, that is. Oh wait, that's that's not something that I want to melee. <sighs> so now, a fully modded weapon with the Sector 7 buff and the Season Meat from the, what is it called, the healer, has the potential to do a hell of a lot of damage. Think about it. Because I think... Oh, I can't remember. I haven't been there in a while. Oh, come on. Just two little batteries, that's all I'm asking for. Just two. Two batteries. Not one, I said two. Whatever. It's better than nothing. We've got another box up here after we take out these guys. So, hopefully we're going to be able to get this just in this next like room. Well, I mean, there's a Frenzy Giant, an Abomination, another Frenzy Giant, a Spitter. But you know what I mean. It's close enough. Right, these could all die. I think my arm is going to break soon, but that's fine. I just plan on shooting everything to death. There we go. Now, this one can drop dead. Yeah, you start missing so much. At the moment, with how it's working, you really can't afford to use weapons that decrease the... Um, um, la la. You can't really afford to use mods that decrease the stability of the weapon. Because that makes you miss more often, if you didn't know that. Right, and let's put the shotgun there. Ooh, that is so nice. And because of the mod I've got for the shotgun, it's got a lot higher durability than normal. Well, I don't think it's a lot higher, but it's a decent amount higher. Big ammo. Increases durability by three. Hey, there we go. We got our battery. Right then, let's... Grab everything on the way back. Oh, a yellow ticket? That's just cheeky. <sighs> I always feel cheated when I get a yellow ticket from a Frenzied. I think, yeah, the Frenzied should be a guaranteed red ticket drop, I think. Right then. How close? I don't think I'm going to have enough red tickets to open up a ticket crate, unfortunately. You know what? I'm going to take on this Frenzied here, just in case I'm close. Oh yeah, has anybody been getting a lot of hacker bases on raids recently? I've gone on probably about eight or nine raids and seven of them have been hackers. It's really getting annoying because I just get a big metal base that I can't get into and then I get nothing. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Perfect. Right, I think there's just like one ticket left to steal. Yeah. Right, I'll see you all back at the base. Here I am, back at the base, just grabbing that last little high-tech component, and then I'm going to finalise my radio tower. But then, of course, I am going to need to try and find someone to add, but I'm sure there's people in the Last End of Discord that will be more than happy to help out. Ta-da! Awesome. Ah, oh, we can upgrade it. Oh, and upgrading it is going to be... Well, the recipe will obviously change. But upgrading it is going to cost more stuff, so yeah, it will cost the dish antenna to upgrade. Awesome. And the signal amplifier. That's pretty cool. It's going to take ten of them. Wow, okay. Three electronic circuits. Ooh, I'm not sure if I can afford that. But I'm guessing that might change to steel, maybe. And I got three glue. So that means I can upgrade one of these. So what does this do? Yeah, speed decreased by three. That's that's not good. Ergonomic handle, yeah. There we go. And now I want to remove 
There we go. Much better. Yeah, I could definitely tell the difference there. Right then, let's chat. So, there we go. I am shade 4573. Okay, and we can't do that stuff yet. So, add friend. Right, I'm going to find someone to add. Okay, I am back. Adding, well, sent a request to NVQ. Okay, so we can have five friends at the moment. And there we go, there's my outgoing request. Oh, so, right now, hopefully, I think some people, some other people are going to be sending me their IDs so I can add them. All right, so I can have five people added. I'll probably end up adding, I don't know, a couple of the people from the last Dead Earth Discord. Hey, here we go. Hi. It works. Evening Shade, XD. Hi. Right, so what do I do by tap in here? Private. Oh, I click on MVQ. I click private message. Ooh, a sidebar chat too. Okay, so how do I... Ah, okay. So this can be clan chat, party chat, location, and all chats. All right. Sorry about that. A door just slammed in my flat, so I went out to check what was going on just to make sure no one had just walked in. They haven't, luckily. All good. Right, um, how do I get this back? Here we go. I'm dying of thirst. Can I drink, please? Perfect. And let's waste a mag make it. Right, good. I can still walk around. Right, so what are the other little chat options that we've got? Let's take a look. I can't see this chat being really used at all, to be honest, until the update comes out that adds in, like, parties and clans. Okay, so, quick MVQ. Wow, it's nice to chat when walking to places. I just tab out to Discord normally. There we go, look, chat's working, it's lovely. Now we're gonna get clan chat, which is gonna be Radio Tower level three, that's gonna be quite expensive. And then party chat. Right, now this is weird. Why does it go 1, 3, 2? Then you've got locations. That's going to be like sector 7. And then all chats and that would just get confusing. But I really like this. This is this is a cool little thing they've added. Let's take a quick look at the blueprints. Just have a look. See if they've changed the look of anything else. Not sure that they have. Doesn't look like it. I want the torture device added in. That's going to be cool. Right, so yeah, saw blades obviously changed. That's got blue tape now. Anything else looking new? Doesn't look like it to me. Nah, and safes and electronic circuits and things. Still not craftable. I don't know why they don't just let you craft the circuits already. Because it's not like they're rare now. You get them everywhere on raids. Literally every raid I've been going on lately has been getting me at least one circuit. Bare minimum one circuit. Ooh, and we've got... Right, we've got an airdrop over here. If I... Yeah, I've got enough energy. Right, I'm going to try and run over to this airdrop, see if I get a blueprint. Because I've been getting, getting kind of lucky with blueprints from airdrops. How about every other airdrop I go to is getting me one. Haven't gotten any really that useful yet. Ooh, actually, if you get blueprints, always check to see if that's the best possible one you can get in that specific tier. So say if you get a shutter blueprint for the Glock, don't bother learning it unless it's the elite shutter. And then just recycle it. Because every blueprint you recycle, if it's a normal one, a grey one, hey, we've got a dog here too. A grey blueprint will get you, uh, what was it? Grey blueprint gets you 10% towards a new blueprint in the bunker. Blueprint, a blue one gets you 50% and a purple one gets you 200%. So any blueprints you get you don't like, trade them in. Hey, awesome. All right, I think I'm going to end off the episode here because I need to carry on cleaning the flat and then head out to go and view a house. Well, view another flat. Thanks for watching, people, and goodbye.